I stand before the gates of redemption. At dusk a flame rose above the full moon. Then there is a darkness, the darkness, oh, the great depths. Doubt and pride waged war against me, and many people of the earth were smitten by the face of doubt. Many people of the earth were beguiled by pride. Yet the fiery flame above the full moon signified unto me a blessing. God had opened the gates and lit the way. I saw doubt appeal to the people's fear. I saw pride cook inside the people's minds. Many were gone, gone like a declining shadow. Formidable hearts were few and far between. Doubt and pride together bred the longing for revenge, which was what blinded the people's intelligence in the very first place. Yet my confidence grew within the darkness, the darkness, oh, the great depths. Like in the beginning upon the face of the deep, my spirit was challenged, changed, purified and made true. Now I walk upon the way of redemption, alone, with only God's eyes to see me through. Before reaching the depths of tranquility, there was ice, the kind of ice which leaves you with a burning sensation, the kind of ice which leaves you with the weight of dreariness, the kind of ice which draws you out of wrath and deceit, the kind of ice which leaves you crawling toward the spring breeze. Then there is an abyss, the darkness, oh, the great depths. After howling winds of wintry darkness, there is a time when creation begins to roar out from the shadows. It is a sound of timeless beauty. And then there is you, just you, looking back. Such is the path following the gates of redemption.